All right, so the IGN Resident Evil 5 can't be remade. And I know I've been talking a lot about Resident Evil, but it's in the air, let's just say. So I just said, I think Resident Evil 5, if they go for the remake, that basically they need to redo the whole thing. So IGN, who, by the way, I do believe back in the day, they had given Resident Evil 5 like a very high mark. It was like an eight or a nine or something from what I remember. Um, I don't know why they coming back now, swinging back now. I mean, I guess like people can change an opinion or whatever. That's fine. Cause like, as you get older, like, you know, opinions do change, but like, I don't know. So oh god raven's on the floor freaking out um but they were like you can't remake it because it was set in africa and it was extremely insensitive and i don't know if this makes me sound like a bad person but when i watched that because at the time i had a podcast and i covered their whole game and it's on a cd somewhere i have a copy of it and i need to try to find a a way to play it <laughs> play that cd if i can find it and be like i just want to hear what i had said i do remember two things i said before i was like i didn't agree with the ending for obvious reasons they shouldn't have fucking killed wesker but neither here nor there and I was like, I didn't agree with that ending. I didn't agree that all the bosses were tentacle monsters. What the fuck was that all about? That is the direct quote. So that's like the only two things I remember. But I don't remember being like outraged that this steroid, because let's be real about the shit. Chris is on steroids and I said it and I said it. So, but roided up Chris going around gunning down black people in Africa, like either it didn't register or I didn't find it insensitive. But again, I'm just one person. You cannot, I cannot speak for a collective of people. So for me, it didn't bother me. And then after I watched um, Zero Punctuation's review, which we pretty much had similar views on Resident Evil 5 at the time, he was like, Capcom are bad people. They're just idiots. It's like, yeah, that was that was pretty much where I took it too. Like they're just dumb. But like, I don't, I don't know. It's like there's a part of my brain that wants to say maybe because it is such a delicate topic that maybe they sh they. I told y'all they need to redo their whole fucking game from the ground up, but. If this is the catalyst to get them to re completely retcon the game, I'll take it because the shit needs to be retconned because it ain't, it, that ain't it. That is not it. And what the fuck was up with everything being a tentacle monster when I think about it? I'm like, am I watching like hentai all of a sudden? Like, what the fuck is this? Even Whisker got all tentacly, and it was not, it was not a good look. It was not a good look. So not a good look. But, like, uh, if that'll be the thing to get them to, like, to, like, retcon the shit out of it. Because that game needs an overhaul. It's, it's just, there's no survival horror elements. It's just, like, let's just shoot people. But the thing is... Because I know there's like this really famous YouTuber. He just covered the IGN thing. And the thing is, you kind of got to understand, you have to look at Resident Evil 5 and 6 in context. At that time, Shinji Mikami, the creator of the series, and Hideki Kamiya, who was like worked on Resident Evil 2 and 3, and I think Code Veronica, they had both left. Hideki Kamiya went off to go work at Platinum Gameworks. And I want to say Shinji went with him to Platinum Gameworks. But then he spun off and did his own thing for Tango Gameworks. He started his own situation. So they were gone. That was like the main people that were working on Resident Evil. And like 
when they left, it kind of left a huge fucking vacuum. And Capcom had no earthly fucking clue what the shit they were doing at that time. Because at that, this is how we got 5 and 6. And why it was so fucking, like, the fuck am I watching? And this is how we got in that situation. They just, I swear, it just seemed like at though at that point in time, it was like, well, we need people to buy these games because we need people to buy some games. And they were like, well, this thing is popular and this kind of game is popular. So why don't we just make Resident Evil like that, that, that? And we'll just do that. And the kids will eat it up. And for the most part, the kids do eat it up. Because one of the main arguments I hear a lot is, Well, Resident Evil 5 is still the best-selling Resident Evil. I don't understand how that's an argument, yo. How the fuck is that an argument? I could sell, a like, a million Japanese-style pancakes, but they taste gross. But I sold a million of them. But they taste gross. Now, people bought them, and I sold a million of them, but they were gross. Just because you sell a bunch of something doesn't make it not gross. So, I don't get how that's an argument. So, just because you sell a bunch of shit does not make it good. It just means you sold it. Because I'm sure it pulled in people who were like, like it Gears of War and all that kind of thing. But... That's not, it had, we had just drifted so far from what Resident Evil was that this is how we ended up in the scenario of five and six. But when you put it, when you put Resident Evil five and six in that context, that they really were like a rudderless fucking boat. They didn't know what the fuck. They didn't know their asshole from their elbow. And it was kind of a shame. So this is how we got that situation. But... I don't know. Now that they've pulled their head out of their ass mildly and Resident Evil 4 remake was really good. I'm sorry. The The two best remakes for me are always going to be Resident Evil 1's remake and Resident Evil 4's remake because they took a central theme and they expanded upon it. They made it better. Whereas 2, and I don't fucking know about 3, but from what I understand, 3 was a goddamn disaster. But with three, two and three, it was like they took a central theme and diminished it by it. Like, not a lot. Just by like a little teeny bit. They fucked that story up. Leon, oh, I, I, they, I was told not to come, but I got here anyway. Bitch, that was not the situation. The situation with Leon was he, he, Got drunk at his leaving party. His girlfriend broke up with him. He stumbled to a, a motel, overslept by 24 hours, and got to work 24 hours late. And I like that plot. No. I was told not to come, but I'm like this big tough bitch, and I came anyway. Bitch. the fuck out of here. They're here over there. But, yeah. So, that's the pinnacle of remakes. But, they really, if you're going to redo it, Capcom... Ground up, as I've stated previously, thank you for ruining my pillow. Ground up, as I stated previously, Capcom, and don't kill Wesker. That's the only way to salvage this shit. <laughs> That's like the only way you gonna fix it. Because, and I mean, I guess because of cultural sensitivity issues, I would kind of take it out of Africa or... I don't know. Do something else. Or even if you have it in Africa. I don't know. It needs to be something else-ish. But like I said. I can't speak to what somebody else may find culturally insensitive. Yes, I am a black person. But I am not going to speak for all black people. Because everybody has their own individual. Thank you for sneezing on my hand, miss. Sorry, is Raven, and she still bless you, my love. <sighs> but everybody, I can't speak for a group of people. I am just one individual within a group. So, for maybe, but maybe for cultural sensitivity purposes, maybe they shouldn't put it in Africa. But either fucking way, ground up, because that's the only way you're gonna fix this shit. Because this game, oh my god, I can't, like y'all, bitch. No, it just ground up. Don't kill Wesker. 